Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 49, Bless Platinum, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Alright, let's see if we can do this. So, this guy's in a, a bad spot, but because he's doing that, we can generally get past, but not today. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Nah, go, 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 move, move. Oh my god, what a jerk, what a jerk, he's blocked. Ah, uh, that's really annoying. I don't know where my auto save is. What's the time? I can't really check because I took a break. 12.02... Hmm. Probably would work, but... Oh well. Let's just go past. How many... I've only got one grenade left. Oh well. I'm aiming for like... I think five grenades would be good for Super Tyrant, but it's hard to say for sure. Alright, so here, same as always. Uh, go forward. Go all the way back. Make sure he's like really, really far away. And then go. So, like I was saying, if you left the green herb there, it would be really difficult to pick up in at this point because, um, because that guy would would grab you. Uh, I don't think I need the key, right? No. Okay. We don't need the key this time. The key only allows you to get back to the. Uh, well, it allows you access to the room with like a large gunpowder and probably a high grade gunpowder, and it also allows you to. I can't pick up the green herb this time. It's okay. It also allows you to um, get the hiding place, um, like upgrade for the lightning hawk and also the fuel, but that's basically useless. So, well, the lightning hawk upgrade is not useful. Well, it's yeah, that's probably the more useless one. No, oh, okay. I thought there was, I thought this mass here, like right in front, this thing here. I thought that was um, the G adult, <laughs> and I was like, no. All right, so this way. All right, here we go. Getting close. It should be this episode and the next one, and I'll, I'll be done. So I need to try and get as far as possible in this episode to make sure that I can complete it next time. Up we go. So we're going to get another hip pouch here, which is nice. So we'll shoot this guy in the head. Grab the hip pouch. Go here. Uh, make sure you grab the <laughs> Rook piece, do not forget that. Oh, there is large caliber handgun ammo in that, in that other room, but screw it. Now, here's the interesting thing. Um, normally, I would go... I'd probably go back to the workman's lift, I think, but... Hang on a sec. This one's tricky. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Yeah. Okay, so normally I'd go back the way I came, but this is much better. Well, this is kind of better slash necessary because um, it allows you to to use the, um, the tool for the last time, and being able to use the tool for the last time allows you to get uh, to discard it. So, otherwise, if we don't do this, um, we never we're never able to discard the tool, and that is not really good. <laughs> I haven't actually checked it, like if, because I, I think this way is slower in terms of like the actual distance that you have to go, but it does allow you to get an extra slot. But I haven't actually gone ahead and checked if like we need that extra slot, if there's like a point where, you know, we're so full on items that we actually need that to complete the game. Might not be actually, but anyway. I find it funny that we literally, we were just here like three minutes ago and now we have to go back. The only reason you have to go back that way is to get the Rook. Um, uh, piece for the puzzle. Alright, now we're coming to everybody's favourite time. Boss time. Oh god, I hope I win. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not that difficult, it's just one of those where it's like... Uh, where's the flash grenade? I think I'm supposed to be missing a flash grenade from somewhere, but I can do it without it. God, I almost went to save. I mean, almost went to um, use the safety of the boss box. Alright, so the queen goes here. Then the bishop goes here. Take the knight out. Put the king in. Do a spin. Put the knight. Put the rook. And go. Go. Okay. Almost there, Ada. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We are almost there, Ada. Alright, we're gonna grab this stuff because it's good to have extra protection for the boss. 
because we might die. Alright, what's the code? Off, on, on, on. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Now, before we continue, let's do this, this, this. Hopefully this works. Turn. Not that, this. So, I like to use the mag here, if I'm in the right position. Damn it. On. Damn it. Just wasted a whole bunch of bullets. Okay, that should be enough. Let's just stay, just in case. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's enough. If you shoot him twice with the mag, I think that's enough as well. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so, exactly the same as Claire. Run all the way to this section, flip the camera, watch him run down the corridor, hit this thing a little bit so that he does an attack, and then you can get past. Uh, and now we need, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip this, and I'm also going to put the shortcut on the top to replace the Matilda. Completely useless now. Okay, give me a second to just read this. Okay, so, press this, flash grenade, equip it. That. Burn him until 100 fuel. This is basically exactly the same strat that we used in Hardcore. But it works really well, that's why we use it. Oh, it's a similar strat, I think. But burn him until you have 100 fuel. Uh, technically, you're supposed to have another flash grenade. Um, but I don't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... Use the mag. Burn him again. That should be enough. Now I got you. Um, yeah, I'll hold off. This should be plenty. He's, I think he's already, he was, his eye was already red. <clears throat> wow, he didn't even get up. <laughs> Alright, good, done. Problem solved. Um, eh, get that. May as well. Get the mag ammo. The last of them. Hmm. The last of us. The last of us. <laughs> oh man, I'm so worried that like by the time that game comes out, I just I'll be so inundated with stuff to do that I, I'll never finish it. And the first one was so important. Ah, oh, damn it. The first one came out in 2013. God, I can't believe that. Such a long time ago. It feels like like a century ago. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Whatever, I just gotta keep working hard. That's it. If you wanna if you wanna succeed, you just gotta keep working hard. Alright, how are we doing? One hour, four minutes. My golly goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna struggle with those bloody passwords in uh excuse me, Ada, gentleman first. <laughs> I wanna well, of course it's been said, but I mean like no, that like the sentiment, ladies first, ladies first, ladies first. We never say like men first. Well, we can't say men first because that's just like too over the top. Um, but we can say gentlemen because you got like you got men and women. It's very like matter of fact. It's very like okay, you got men and you got women, but then you also have ladies and you also have gentlemen, <laughs> and that's just a little bit more proper. All right, here we go. The final area. I gotta get through as much of this as possible so that I'm ready for the next episode. How are we doing in step wise? Look at that, 9,000. Still under 9,000. And obviously, time wise, we're like nowhere near. <laughs> it's like three hours and a half, I think. Well, I can't remember what it was. Two hours and a half. Alright, straight into the cafeteria. Run, run, run. I think this is the first playthrough where I'm actually where I'm actually taking the uh, taking the flamethrower with me to to pick up the um, regulator. Definitely want to pick up that fuel and just re uh, what do you call just equip it straight away. Careful with this zombie. I feel like he's a little bit too close, but I haven't got bitten by him yet, so I'm chanting it a little bit there. Okay, and I've just noticed we have three grenades, so this is actually quite a good amount of grenades. It feels like every time I use one, I'm like, oh god, I'm never gonna have enough. 
Okay, let's do the secret trick. I love that freaking trick. <laughs> Just like, I didn't even really point that out in the previous playthroughs, but I kind of like to stick, I, I did talk about it, but I didn't ex exactly explain what I'm doing. I kind of just like to put Leon, uh, oh, uh, no, what am I doing? This. Put Leon uh, right up against the wall so that the shotgun faces upwards, but the icon, like my reticle, still hits exactly where it needs to. So I like to do that. Here as well, I like to stay as far right as possible so that I don't open that door accidentally. Alright. So now we go here. Um, it's not extremely necessary. In fact, you could probably skip this entire thing, because all you need is, all you get is shotgun shells. I don't think I need that many. Alright, here, you know, let's save the tiniest little bit of time. I like to extend the bridge first, then pick up the signal modulator. Up. Oh, make sure you pick it up. I was spamming circle there because I didn't want to do the interview transcript or whatever it was. Not interview transcript, the... Transcript of the two SWAT members talking to each other. Uh, and if it, I think I've mentioned it before, but it's one of those things that you're like, why don't you? And then it, sometimes you don't realize it. Um, you might be thinking, oh, why don't you get the signal modulator first so that you don't have to come back in here? But you can't because in order to get, give me one second. God, that is difficult for me to do sometimes. The, on standard, wait, on, sorry, on Leon A, so that's another thing that's specific to Leon A. Um, on Leon A, it's like, it's dead simple and I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but on Leon, on any of the B scenarios, oof, it's much harder. Uh, you can't get the modulator first because in order to get the modulator, you need the second level security. So you need to go into the nap room in order to get that from Wayne Lee first. And then you can go in this door here, as you can see, it's got, it's marked with two. Roman numerals for two, that is. Okay, doing well, doing well. Doing really well. Where's the next grenade? Hmm. Is it that one? It's probably that one. And then is there one more? Yeah, there's like one or two more there. Okay, so if I don't use any more grenades, I think I'll have five for, um the super tyrant so we'll see we'll see how it works unless there's a grenade i'm not thinking of which is very possible because it's very difficult to remember everything okay the passwords i better start scrolling down to the passwords here we go backwards l two dots f two vertical lines i'm gonna save here because oh yeah <laughs> this is so annoying you can't save because it's auto saving so a little bit of wasted time here can i do this oh okay probably didn't have to waste my time by pausing the game there um, okay, yes, okay, so we want to, okay, yeah, this part's interesting, you actually don't need to attack any of these ivy monsters, but I'll have my little M19 just in case, here we can finally use the high grade gunpowder that we got in the, um, hang on a sec, finally use the high grade gunpowder that we got in the sewers to get past this section, flash grenade, alright, let's do this properly. So, uh, two L's, vertical thin I, uh, big block, and that one. Okay, I actually did the second code first, but that's fine. Backwards L, two dots, F, two vertical lines. There we go. Uh, what? Uh-oh. What's the damn password? <laughs> Two L's. Oh, backwards L. It's this one. Which is, yeah, that one, that one, that one, that one. Ooh, boy. I was like, how is that wrong? <laughs> Done it like 15 times. Um, okay. Dispenser cartridge. And grab it. Go. Hmm. It's time to... To wonder if it is actually necessary to get rid of the tool. Probably not. Anyway, that's just like a super... Oh, there is a grenade here. Yay! Forgot about that. It's like a super, super efficient way of doing it. I might have six grenades if I don't get grabbed. No, that's what I wanted. Alright, um... Oh, yeah. So, it's still blue, red, green. But this is a B. A B mode. Um... 
puzzle. In A it would be different. Okay, let me have a look. So, shotgun shells. Okay, just trying to work out how to do this next section because it's it's a little bit challenging. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit challenging. And it'll be a little bit different from how we've done it previously, so it's good to to know as well. Um. Oh God. Please, thank you. Oh my God, that scared me. So I, th I heard the one fall behind me and I'm like, I don't have much time, but it's fine. Go this way. All right, so what we want to do is we want to actually kill these three zombies. Um, we kind of need to this time around. So one, two, three, and I'm just going to kill this fourth one for good measure. Excuse me? I thought I heard one get up. Okay, Earth. A little low on bullets now, but that's okay. There we go. That was alright. There we go. Okay, so do that. Do that. Now, um, the two... What's this one? Red, green, herb. The two liquors. Don't even worry about them. Just go here and in here and you're safe. And now you might be wondering... But what about when you get out? Yes. Yes, that is... It's a good point, and I will show you exactly. <laughs> it's funny about, like, me saying yes. I, uh, the other day I was... I, I haven't played any of them, but I, it's kind of hard to miss uh, when you're on the internet. Um, the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Um, there's been, like, so much talk about them for such a long time, and they were, you know, here for, like, you know, I don't know, three, four years or something. And now Scott Cawthon has like the ability to make like a like a, a triple A one, which is such a weird sentence to say. But he has the ability to make like a triple A one. And um, so, well, let me quickly. Obviously, what I'm doing is walking here just to make make sure I get past. Um, use the flash grenade if you need to. It doesn't look like you really need to. One thing that I did in a previous attempt was I shot the uh, I shot the zombies in the legs um, to sort of de-leg them and make sure that I could get past, but that's obviously probably not the best way to go about it. Okay, let's do that. Don't need the knife. Let's go. Here you can probably run to the door. I'm gonna try now. You missed. Haha, <laughs> suck it. Give me one second to move the guide. Uh, yes, okay, we're good. Like, I know what I need to do next, I was just trying to make sure that I do it right. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. 113. Hmm, I wonder. Will I beat the one hour and a half mark? Uh, yeah, the Scott Cawthon thing. So, um, yeah, he was with us for so long, and now he's. it seems like he's going to make a seventh one or something like that. <laughs> and someone had written in the comments... Uh, I think it was on um, on Matt Pat's uh, recent video about it. Someone wrote it in the comments. Uh, so Scott, how many more um, Five Nights at Freddy's games are you gonna make? And then it put Scott, yes. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, I can't believe I made it past. Now sometimes there's an IV monster in there. I think it's supposed to drop from that one. This part is tough as well. Be careful here. You've got to get lucky here, a little bit. That was bad. That was good. Alright, phew boy, that part scares me so much that I, I like doing it that way. Oh my god. Tyrants, Jace, hey bye! But he's not going to get me. Uh, Alright, good. We're about to get up to a good place to stop. Um, so let's have a look. Bridge extension, it's a hand grenade, so it looks like we're gonna have about six, four, for Super Tyrant. That would be pretty cool. Just makes him a lot easier. I don't think you do have to worry too much about your ammo 
for G5. <laughs> One of my attempts, I think it was actually the first attempt, I had so little ammo. The only thing I had was like the, um, it's the second one. The only thing I really had was actually three bullets from the, or three rockets from the, the grenade launcher that you use against Super Tyrant. Um, and it, or I think he dies in like two of them or something like that. Ah, oh, but it's probably because it's also on standard mode. I didn't think of that either. It's probably that. All right, good. Got high grade gunpowder. Uh, let's combine it. And the reason we're combining it is because it gives us a nice even 20 for mag. But not only that, well, 27 technically. Uh, not only that, but there is a large gunpowder and a high grade gunpowder in this final uh, area, so we can combine those for about five or six shotgun shells, so that's well worth it as well. Alright, cool. So let's stop here and we'll um, continue next time. Just quickly grab this stuff. Normally I would pick up the red herb, but since I have... Don't do that. <laughs> but since I have the red, green, blue herb already, then we're pretty good. Five saves. Pretty good. Might actually get through the whole game with five saves. Um, okay, so we'll leave it there and next time we'll finish it. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 49 of Let's Platinum Resident Evil 2 Remake. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.